Hello everybody, this is Nick speaking, welcome back to another mod showcase. Today we're playing through the first map of Verticalville number 2, called Apartment Block. This map is by Daniel Friend, and we're in an apartment block, and my volume is very loud right now. So yeah, it looks like we've got some stuff going on here in an apartment. Obviously. There might be something behind any one of these boxes, so we need to break them up. Yep. Okay. Nothing here. Shotgun. Uh. Oh! Okay. I suppose that's one way to present the enemies. Yeah, that was not the very expected way of introducing this. Oh, okay. Above me, yes. Okay. Wait, what are we expecting in here? You're up there. Oh, come on. Buckle. Do I go down? Where are you? Where is this guy? My guess would be I need to go down, but there's nothing really telling me to do that either. Okay, so I'm down here now. These are things, but we don't have anything to move them with. Uh, interesting. Oh, are these meant to be... Ah. Interesting idea. Yep, they work like stairs, basically. I guess that's this purpose? To do some parkour or something? Uh, hi. Didn't that guy have health? Um, oh well. Also, currently... Oh! Uh, yeah, you did that one. Why do I have a feeling this is like a puzzle of some sort? Probably because it is. Can I get up there? No, not really. These sort of things I can move, though. I hear zombies, too. So, 
am I supposed to crawl through this thing? I don't think so. That seems like a death trap, almost. Let's try getting up here where those guys were and see if that results in anything. By that I mean let's actually position stuff so we can jump on this stuff. There we go. If nothing else, we can at least come up here and grab the... Oh, yep. That's the way to progress. Are they, like, box delivery systems or something? Is what this is supposed to be? Hmm, interesting. This hallway seems like a death trap. does not work. That does not work at all. Okay, so that's not the way to progress. Um, I know there was another level up here. Let's try going up there, maybe? I don't know. Maybe there's something up here worth grabbing? There's some boxes. There. Those make us health. Nothing else. Yep, they both had health. And that is a train. I'm sure that's where we're supposed to get to. So there's this thing which goes into this room. Climb up here somehow. And then everything falls all over the place because you didn't do it right. So, do I just have to run down? Yep. I suppose that's one way of doing it. Oh. I don't know if I like this. Point of having this car here. Okay, we have some weird water collection thingies. Have that. Have a ramp here, which is probably where I need to go with the car. Yep, I'm pretty sure that's where I need to go with the car, is up that ramp over here. That didn't work. Alright. So let's line ourselves up with the ramp. Um... And... Oh. Yep. 
sure that's what we were supposed to do there. Get to this side of the fence. And there's a zombie. That sounds like a lot of zombie. Okay. Let's back up a little bit. Shotgun. A regular zombie. supposed to get back to it. To go there. Because this fence was kind of in the way. I guess I'm supposed to use the car or something to jump back up. Which I suppose is a possibility. Combining some sort of puzzle element here. what I'm supposed to do is use the car to jump back over the fence, but I don't know how to do that. Or stack something, or... There's gotta be some way to do this. Oh! Okay. A little more creative than what I was thinking, but that works too. Ladder. 
back down. There's no point in return there. Which tells me that, oh, that's the end of the level, all right. So, that was the first map, which is Apartment Block. Um, pretty interesting map. I did kind of like the Hunter battle from afar. It's a little bit different than what you're used to, other than that. I think the theme of them doing the vertical sort of thing actually worked out pretty well, so... I do like how they put it together. I'd say that was a pretty good one. I would recommend playing that that one. Yeah. So anyways, that's going to be the end of this first one. We have three more to go for this competition, so quite a few mod showcases coming up. Anyways, thank you guys for watching, and I will see you next time. Bye! Hello everybody, Nick here, and welcome back to another mod showcase. Today we are in the second map of the Verticalville mapping competition. This one is called Construction and is by Spencer Patel. In this map we are obviously in a construction site. Actually kind of cool looking, I like... I mean, it's detailed, but very sparsely. There's have no weapons to start with, but there are, like, some floor tiles here, it looks like. You got boxes, probably, for, of, like, applying, like, certain stuff. Like, apparently there's a fast head crab and a crowbar over here in this corner. I'll break the boxes. Sure, why not? Box breaking. 101. Specialty of Half-Life 2. Alright, so we have a crowbar. I imagine. Uh. Okay, so there's a vent there. That we could go down. There's. This one probably. No, that one just. There's nothing there. On the outside. So I would imagine we need to jump down that vent. I don't see any other way to progress. Alright, well, that should kill me. So we're down a floor. We're up there, now we're down here. That door opens. Oh, please tell me you give me light. No. You go to something, though. Oh! Okay. I wasn't expecting to see that there. Can I please have, like, a flashlight or something? That would be kind of nice. Oh, and apparently... I no! Okay. Um... Okay, apparently. Oh, good, a nice lighter area. Okay. I have to check all of those now. I'm gonna start making a habit of checking every room in this, and I'm gonna regret it, I'm pretty sure. Health. No suit yet, but we did have health. Let me guess, there's another... No! That door is locked. This one isn't. I'm guessing this... Yep, that one's locked too. Is that from up above, or down below, or... I'm not sure. That door's locked. I'm guessing that one will be too, but... Yeah, we don't need doors, we can just go through glass. Headcraft randomly scattered in here. So is there some... Oh, there's this button. 
Oh, hi, head crap. I can die. And that allows me to go around this way. Yep. You're not doing a good job of scaring me. You're dead. And I'm probably dead now, too. Because I can't run. 500 zombies and I can't run. Oh! Okay. That was the thing. That was the thing. It was a five minute thing, but it was a thing. And I just got bit by a... Okay. Um... So anyways, I'm pretty sure that's the end of the level, because, um... There's not really anything here, and the screen faded to black, so I'm just gonna, you know, do this so I can talk to you guys. Anyways, um, very short. Very, very short. I almost feel like playing another one this episode, because five minutes doesn't seem long enough. Um, last one was, actually last one was 15, so the first two here will probably be in the same episode, um, so yeah, so did an outro and then an intro right away, and now we do another outro. So anyways, let me talk a little bit more about this mod. Um, I'm not really sure it plays into the whole vertical thing, other than it kind of being an apartment building that's kind of built, built vertically, because you're going down floors, but when you're doing anything, you're kind of doing it on a flat plane, so does it really have anything there? Visuals I enjoyed inside the actual apartment when with all the building, the upper floors were actually pretty well done. Kinda wish we had the flashlight there, but Oh eh, well. Not really that big of a deal. Um other things that could have been better. You could have actually had a little bit of a scene outside, maybe just I don't know, take even if it was just as simple as, hey, let's take one of the skyboxes out of one of the actual games and just put it into this map. It would have taken not very long at all and would have made it feel like it was like an actual area that was more realistic other than just having, oh, here's a window with nothing outside it. But yeah, that's the only thing I would, those are the only things I'd probably really change about the aesthetic some. Smaller map, I... Not really a fan when we don't get the AGV suit, but eh. I think you were going for more. He was going for more of a horror thing here, and yeah, some people that would definitely work for. So, anyways, this is gonna be the end of this episode. There will be another two coming up, hopefully. So, anyways, thank you guys for watching, and I will see you next time. Bye. <laughs>